Uh, so, fo fortunately, we have um, Managing Director Maflix and President of Ghana Vegetables and Fruits Exports, Dr. Phyllis M. Kamasa in the studio. It's good to see you, sir. Right. Uh, if you can just face me, yeah, so we have a conversation. Uh, I'm sure the traffic dealt with you. <laughs> it's not easy at all. It's not easy at all, I see. It's good to have you in the studio. And, well, the issues of Galamsey, first of all, uh, against what you, uh, where you are, where you farm. Uh, are there issues of Galamsey in your area? Oh, no, Vota yeah. region, we are not experiencing that now. Now. Um, by the major challenges are San Wini mm -hmm. is one of the challenges other Ajidome areas they okay. are facing that challenges mm -hmm. heavily so in and terms have, of you, have you spoken to the authorities about yes um, as a president for vegetable producers and exporter association of mm -hmm. Ghana mm -hmm. uh, we visit a great minister mm -hmm. we had a discussion uh, and then um, we visit the municipal assembly as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we inform them about it uh, because you see what is happening at uh, Wager mm -hmm. now. We don't want to experience that. Indeed. So I think they are trying to take action. They are trying. Yes. <laughs> they are trying. They are trying to take action. So we are also monitoring them and see what will happen so next. Will happen. next and so we can take action. I see. How many how many years have you been found? Um, 13 years now. 13 years? Yes. See, 13 years, large scale, or you started small? Oh, I started small, like 10 acres. 10 acres? Yeah. That's how you started. Yes, how did you get acres. the land? Uh, I acquired the land from family. Family? Family, mm. and then um, I'm acquiring another one from government, mm. which is a state farm. You know, those times, mm. Nkrumah have a state farm across the country. Okay. Uh, we are working on it to finish the deal. Mm. It's around 6,000 hectares. I want 2,000 hectares out of it. Mm. Um, the land just share a bundle with what currently I'm working on. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's why you want to acquire. Yes. Yeah. How difficult was it? Did you have to go get a loan? Did you have to get uh, uh, family support again to, to work on that? Uh, you asked a right question. Mm. Beginning it was tough. How was that? um assessing the land after you have acquired the land mm -hmm. the kind of investment have to go into mm -hmm. the farming mm -hmm. um you know agribusiness is a long-term investment mm -hmm. and a capital investment mm -hmm. um beginning <laughs> it was tough um actually i start with my wife together okay uh, she's a teacher i was those time i was working in a banking sector mm -hmm. Um, we, there is a time she also have to resign and join me fully. I see. Yes, so that's the full-time business we do now. Mm. And you'll be amazed that currently we have 142 42 workers permanent staff now. Wow. With the commercial worker, yes. And then we work with the smallholder farmers as well. Mm -hmm. uh, currently we have about 80 greenhouses where we are trying to you know ghana spent so much to import tomatoes from burkina mm -hmm. so we are looking to uh, at least to contribute 20 percent of mm -hmm. that 400 million dollars they will normally import from uh, burkina so we are sending 400 million to burkina Faso. yeah that's what we do every year we import tomatoes traders go there to import tomatoes from burkina and then you see what is happening in burkina now uh, most of them are finding a way to abandon their farm because of the riot and all those things they are running so we are going to be facing some food insecurity yes yes especially with tomatoes, tomatoes from from february from january february is going to be tough mm -hmm. if we didn't position ourselves very well uh, because burkina position itself a way that he supply tomatoes to ghana Cote d'ivoire and then Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso because they make use of the water they have available so they produce throughout the year you'll be amazed when you go to Makola you can find a time and visit them most of the traders go to Burkina and bring tomatoes to this country what is wrong with us as a country <laughs> so we are trying to look at I see. that angle and see we don't export tomatoes mm. we produce tomatoes locally mm. local consumption so uh, based on that, that's why we are even having 
it should be the exchange rate. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes. So, yes. so you are doing some greenhouses to yes. augment the efforts yeah. uh, of the production. The production. What would the greenhouse help do? The greenhouse, you, 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 you grow a quality produce. Mm. Um, currently, when you go to some of the supermarkets, you see some of our produce there. Okay. The lifespan of the produce will take longer, longer on the shelves. Sure. That's what they want. Um, it's a unique product. When you see the product, it's a unique product. You'll be amazed that still we are even importing tomatoes from Netherlands. Most of the shop supermarket we have, they import a lot of produce from Netherlands. So uh, it's a it's a who's regulating that. Uh, or is it because the demand is high? The demand is high. You don't have farmers here to produce more? Oh, we have farmers, but the technology we supposed to use. That's why we adopt the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. Because tomatoes is something, uh, if you didn't control the pest, you can't get the fruit or the yield. Mm. That's the advantage and the disadvantage. And then the sizes, the right seed, if it, everything comes from the grain of the right seeds, from the beginning mm -hmm. up to the harvest, most of the seed we import. Mm -hmm. We like this, we import our seed. Uh, so sometimes I ask myself, ah. Ghana seed board, uh -huh. what are we doing? There's a seed board. We have a seed board. We have a seed board. So there's a, there's a, the ecosystem in agribusiness, there's a lot of chain where we are um, talking to the policy makers mm. and see how best they can regulate the sector. So that the farmer feel comfortable. For example, the irrigation yes, facility so I was, we I, have. I was coming to that. Yeah. So what, what, what you, you speak about technology to, to increase yield. Largely, when I spoke to Mr. Carroll, who, who would have joined us here, uh, but uh, uh, had something else to do as well, he spoke irrigation yeah. and fertilizer. Yes. And these are the two things. Yeah. That's the major thing, yeah. Especially when you come to the vegetable industry, they are not like a tree crop or coconut or cocoa. Vegetable need a care. It's just like you you give birth to or your wife is pregnant. Mm -hmm. If it's not eating proper food, you see the kind of uh, when he's want to give birth, you see the kind of child she will bring she will bring out. That's for okay. vegetable. Vegetable need care attention. Fertilizer is key. Technology is the key. Irrigation. You know, now, when you go to a that area now, mm -hmm. tomatoes is abandoned now. Mm -hmm. But within one month to two months, you know, Hamata will come Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes will be out of season. So, it's it's getting rotten wherever it is. Yes. Now that we have harvested. Yes. Only for us to... We don't have post-harvest or coast facility to install the produce to last for some some time to meet the dry season where the demand is high then they can pump it to the system we but don't have that is that what the buffer stock does no no buffer stock mm -hmm. they are focusing mo mostly on the cereal crop oh okay and then the cereal crop too is not even available you see what happened recently in the schools they had to close yes. some of the school down based on uh, mm -hmm. uh, non-availability of uh, food staff so who must who must deal with the post harvest issue yeah you have to be the ministry wow yes uh, ministry of agri have to look at it. and then um full research have to do proper research mm -hmm. and advise the government you don't think also. we have that you'll be surprised we in Ghana, we are good at researching and researching then we leave it for people other country to implement it irrigation issues is it not okay that every district or municipality takes it on to say that as much as the ministry might not have a national policy, me as an MCE looking at the way forward for agriculture in my municipality and district, we could help the farmers around. It is it, is something we as an organization and association we are working on some documents on that to come out with a full document and engage the ministry. Because sometimes when it will amaze you when you travel around and see some of the dam we have since Inkuma time, you go there, the dam is lying down there. There's no proper maintenance, there's no proper irrigation. How you know we are good to, like one village, one dam. It's a good initiative. 
but we have and we have those irrigation available already what what prevent the government not to engage in those old irrigation rehabilitated and put the farmers there because what we are heading towards now is mechanized farm we are looking at if we're able to do that we even this issue of dollar in the city we don't have any problem because we import everything see amount we spend to import wheat flour ghana is bigger than uh, ukraine if i'm lying you can tell me ghana is bigger than ukraine but see what is just a small issue we can't produce to feed ourselves and export to neighborhood country so we'll, we'll take a break when we come back we'll deal with the issues quickly about irrigation and also fertilizer remember we don't produce fertilizer in this country two of us so what it means is that any fertilizer we use in this country has been imported he probably will have the figure uh, to also give us how much uh, because he just indicated we spent 400 million every year every to, year uh, to bring tomatoes from Burkina so we are sending millions to Burkina Faso in dollars and bringing tomatoes in where we do not have we have the land we have the weather we have everything 